so they are going together. They are living with me. I am so excited about these. <gasps> hey everyone, we are back for part two of the Shop With Me featuring the gang. I am still currently with Katherine Young, still with Katie at Vintage and Vinyl, and also still with Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage. We are currently here in the Cobb Antique Mall, one of my favorite places to come in the area. This is a large store, so if you are in the mood to just spend a lot of time looking at a ton of treasures, I highly recommend. I did spot these cute little Avon uh, perfume bottles. They always trick me. Uh, I love, love, love this vendor. Did spot some anthropomorphic shakers. How absolutely darling were those carrots. And I think I'm gonna pan over to, I don't know why I didn't pick these up. I definitely meant to. They were uh, like big eyed uh, celluloid dog wall hangers. Absolutely loved those. And I was really interested in this uh, pitcher and cup set. Really a fan of the Easter coloring. We did end up spotting some vintage Christmas. I loved this little Santa uh, chenille ornament figurine. So good. And did have to get in uh, the matrix of filming. filming Thought that was pretty funny. Cute little angel bisque figures. Again, it was so fun to come out with everyone. I often am shopping alone or, you know, with a partner or two, but coming out shopping with a few people at once was definitely a great experience. Uh, I did spot those cute little framed kitten pictures. Loved those. And also the little glasses I just noticed. Always love looking through some Valentine's Day cards. Always try to stock up. I've been coming to Cobb for years upon years at this point, and very rarely often do I walk out empty-handed, I must say. So, really a lot of fun, and it's always fun to go out with people to see what they might pick up, because obviously Catherine is going to pick up maybe something completely different than I, uh, so it's always really a great learning opportunity to see what everyone picks up and bounce knowledge off of each other. Since Katie over there loves Coca-Cola, unfortunately, I know nothing. Mostly, this is the genre I tend to cling on to, which happens to be the kitchen mid-century. Which, check out this booth. Vendor is absolutely wonderful. Definitely a sucker for a shaker set. Loved the little eggs, some merry mushroom. All of it is just too fun. Curated so delightfully. And now we're jumping to the next shop. We are at City Antiques in we Roswell, in Georgia. I got a hint about some mermaids. You guys already know. Oh my God, look at her. She is so cool. So I came here for some mermaids. We're gonna definitely get a big eye. Oh my gosh, one of these. Oh, I love these. 25, she's really good. Who else? Oop, she's cool. Ah, look at the wall pockets. But here is what we came for. 
we came for some mermaids. So they are going together. They are living with me. I am so excited about these. <gasps> Shut up. <gasps> A flower darling that I don't have. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This gets better and better. So let's go ahead, definitely put these. So she's free with purchase. Ah, look at how cute. With the bubbles, of course. She always has the best stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this little lavender Napco dog. I have the hot pink version of her. She is really good. Oh my goodness. And look, Miss Dainty represent. Oh my gosh, look at the skunk with the glasses. He is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, this little bathing beauty. The chalkware fish are really good. Let's see. 45. Very nice. She has such incredible kitsch. 25. Oh my gosh, I used to have this poodle. Ah. Oh. And I love this lady. She is real fur little rubber face. Oh my gosh, she's definitely coming with us. Too cute. Oh, the little squeak is cute. Oh my gosh, and look at the huge rubber face. How can I miss him? Humongous. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm doing justice. I have big hands. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the little chenille elephant. Isn't he wonderful? Oh yes, the little chenille guy has to come with us. Aw, little single skunk cute. Honestly, tempted to get her. I wish she had more of her mates. Oh, it's my little chihuahua. Little twiggy. So cute. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yes. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna get him too. Oh, does he have anywhere? All right, so we are officially back from doing a little sourcing today. So let's walk through what we ended up picking up. I will say I picked up the majority of it at City Antiques. Big shout out, Anna. Thank you so much. You always have some of the best vintage around. So without further ado, let's show off everything. First off, we have some awesome poodle wrapping paper. I'd say probably from the mid to late 60s, maybe early 70s. We have a cute little skunk ceramic with big eyes and glasses. I forgot the name of her right off the bat, but I've sold a set of them before and they actually are quite harder to find. I know Chan is in her name, but really cute. Uh, she will definitely be going up. We got a big eyed foursome doll. She will be a keeper. I've been trying to track one of those down for quite a bit. And then we got a rubber face plush. He does have some real rabbit fur. So that is an interesting touch. And then I did finally complete my little flower darling set. We got her, I forgot her name, but really cute. Uh, and then we have a very unique set of S&Ps. He is a sweet little pirate with his little loot made in Japan. And the grand finale of the day is the Lefton Mermaids. Now that is the whole reason I went. Uh, I saw them up on Facebook and obviously had to reach out to Anna and she said they were still there. So those were a fun pickup. And while I was out with everyone, we ended up picking up these sweet little uh, dog dishes. Mid-century made in Japan. And then the final is the cute little anthropomorphic apple. 
Oh, and I did get a S&P PY Apple set, but already put those up in the kitchen. So 